Yeah, thanks again for everyone for showing up to hear what we have to say. Uh, you can't have democracy if you only know one side of the story. Uh, thanks, Barry, and the Chamber of Commerce as well for hosting us. Uh, okay, I'm Peter Nygaard, I represent the Green Party, and hopefully you as well. Um, I'm a proud father of two young daughters, uh, uh, happily married. I was born in Fort McMurray, and uh, I have an Indigenous mother and a father of European descent. I'm a member of the Onion Lake Cree Nation, adhering to Treaty Number 6. I'm, I'm a plumber and gas fitter with my own company, and I'm an, uh, an avid outdoorsman and a subsistence hunter. I spent 10 years traveling around the planet with my wife on bicycles in order to gain an understanding of humanity and the world in which we live in. I think this experience uh, will be a great asset to somebody representing the people in a riding as big as this one uh, and to make sure that the voices are heard in Ottawa. I want the Indigenous people to know that I will fight for them in the House of Commons. I embrace all 46 articles of the United Nations Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples. I would move quickly to enact all the recommendations by the inquiry into the missing and murdered Indigenous women and girls, and all the recommendations by the Truth and Reconciliation Commission. I want the farmers to know that I would fight for them in the House of Commons. Transnational corporations have systematically squeezed out family farms. Farmers are dependent on their seed, on the corporation's seed and the corporation's chemicals in order to grow their crops. They've grown reliant on specific types of crops, flooding the market, not getting a fair value from their crops. I would see a, resi uh, a resurgence in family farms. We would support family farms and try to get farmers feeding locally, local communities. We would support the 200 kilometer diet and we would fund programs to, to share the knowledge of regenerative uh, practices in farming, to relinquish the reliance on the chemicals to grow food and the destructive properties of the soil. So we want farmers to have a greater choice on what they can grow to feed the people. We want them to be able to keep their own seed and share that seed with other farmers. We would invest $2.5 million per year into a land and quota trust program and farming apprenticeship programs to expand local small-scale agriculture and help new farmers get started. I know it is not easy to get into the farming industry now because it is an industrial practice and in order to get into it you need to have a huge capital on your side and so new farmers can't do it, they can't survive. We would set the target to replace a third of Canada's food imports with domestic production, increasing regional food self-reliance and returning 15 billion food dollars back into our economy. We would see more ranchers, more farmers with the same amount of food. This would mean less waste. In the industrial agriculture practice, we waste 30 to 50 percent of our food. That is not only a waste for people that need to, to eat that product, but also waste for the income that the farmers could be getting for that product. We would have the farming industry more efficient, and we would see that they get a fair share of the domestic dollar, as well as keeping their farms open for export market as well. If you have a variety or a diversity in your crop, that means you have more chances to get your product into the market. We would negotiate with the supermarkets to keep some shelf space for local farmers to ensure that they get their chance for local production and locals to be buying their food. I would definitely, and I know a lot of other families that would support locally if given the chance. I want the oil and gas workers to know that I will fight for them in the House of Commons. 62,000 people work, worked in the oil and gas sector nationally in 2018. In 2017, 268,000 people were already employed in the clean energy sector. That doesn't include the 436,000 jobs in the energy efficiency sector. Projections for future jobs in energy efficiency retrofits at 4 million. At the height of oil sands production, it contributed to less than 3% of Canada's GDP. The Green Party would see a shift in our oil resource exploitation into manufactured goods. 
goods that can be transported safely, goods that fetch a higher and more stable uh, value on the market, and employ more people in a sustainable way. Oil can be used for many different things. The world is going away from burning it. We are seeing many people, many countries divest from the oil sands. And not only that, but the economic uh, global market is shaky. Trading partners, long-standing trading partners are starting to split. It is an unstable market. We need to diversify in order to be resilient. We need to be prepared for instability. And to do that, we need to diversify our economy. We shouldn't be sending off raw materials and buying back high-value goods from other countries. We can be manufacturing those goods here and shipping them to other countries and getting more profit from our oil. I want everyone to know that I recognize their right to live in a healthy environment, and I will fight for that right in the House of Commons. Since producing and burning fossil fuels is the largest source of emissions, we need to retool society to run on non-polluting renewable energy sources. This is entirely possible, according to the studies by the Stanford University researchers and the Deep Carbonization Pathways Project. We would implement a major ramp-up of renewable electricity. By 2030, 100% of Canada's electricity will come from renewable sources. We'll implement a national electricity grid strategy to allow clean energy to flow across the entire nation. We'd launch a massive energy efficiency retrofit of residential, commercial, and institutional buildings. The Green Party would see people working. That is an economic opportunity that we, we can't miss. We look to where the puck is heading, and we want to be prepared. So we want people to be working in fields that will prepare us for the instability in the future. We don't, I don't want to see people relying on the boom-bust cycle anymore. I want to stabilize the economy. I want to help the people to, to feel secure in their jobs. The Green Party will offer job guarantees, income protection, and retraining and resettlement if need be during this transition period. Of course, it won't happen overnight. We need a plan, and the Green Party has come up with that plan. For years, we've been working on this, and we've had it fully costed by the Parliamentary Budget Office. We're the only party to be fiscally responsible in this way. We have the plan, and we, and we know how we can implement it. We know where the funds are coming from, and we know how much it will cost to make it happen. The Green Party advocates healthy living. We would see a national health care program, including pharma care. Thank you, Leslie. That would take the burden of health care off, off of the citizens. We have enough money to make this happen. It's just been allocated in other fields. The Green Party would see it put back to the people so they don't have to worry about paying their monthly uh, health care insurance bill or providing themselves with the high-priced pharmaceuticals once they're diagnosed with something that needs a prescription. We would also abolish <coughs> tuition. The Green Party believes that the best investment is in our children and their education. In order to be resilient and be prepared for a changing global market in the future, we need a highly educated society. They are more productive and they can contribute more to the society. They are more resilient. We would put more people working in forestry as well. At the moment, we, we plant monoculture crops, not just in farming, but also tree farming. Those, those crops are more susceptible to disease, and animals don't flourish in them. They aren't a good ecosystem, and they, don't, uh, they fetch a low price on the market as well. We would see more people in forestry in order to create and produce higher value, uh, higher quality wood to create higher value items on the market as well. Uh, in short, a vote for the Green Party and a vote for me is a vote to be able to speak for everyone. The Green Party's policy allows me to work collaboratively with other parties. In the form of a minority government, which is most likely, the Greens and the NDP will hold the balance of power. I am able to work across party lines. I can't speak for the NDP. They're an old line party and they must stick to their party lines. The Green Party is new. 
We think ahead. We think of the future. We need to work together to move forward. Thank you.